Watch out, Tale of the Dragon. Idaho has its own beautiful twisting road with over 130 turns and an elevation climb to 6,000 feet. This is a ride that any motorcycle, any skill level, anyone will want to ride. Welcome to Rallies and Rides. Highway 21 is just off Interstate 84, and that's where we begin our journey. For those fortunate enough to live in the Treasure Valley, the ride is in our backyard. It doesn't take long to get away from the hustle and bustle of life and enjoy some great technical riding that will challenge any skill level. The winding roads are just the beginning of this day trip destination. The water carved canyons, small town sites, and forest mountain views are enough to make you want to ride this loop often. As with so many parts of Idaho, agriculture is vital to the economy. This is just one of the many dams you will find dotted across the area. Each one bring water to a converted desert. Lucky Peak Dam has become the reservoir for water enthusiasts. It's not uncommon when riding along the river to see people boating or swimming on a hot day. The reservoir was originally built for flood control and converted to hydroelectric power in the 1980s. The power is sent up to Seattle, Washington to help run the Seattle area. Our ascent up the mountain begins with some great views of the areas below. Take your time and enjoy them. Many of them are marked with scenic overlook signs and offer small bits of history. Most pull-offs are paved or packed with dirt. This will allow you plenty of opportunity to take the sights in. I would recommend your camera. The area offers some amazing views. Highway 21 is also known as the Ponderosa Scenic Byway. We're about 3,700 feet and we're gonna climb to 6,000 by the end of our trip. We start to hit a tree line just a few miles out of town. The Treasure Valley is considered the high desert, but as we start to move into the mountains, we get a little bit more water and the pine trees start to pop up. Enjoying the full experience of this ride means getting to know the locals and fellow riders. For me, it's not about completing the loop in a hurry, but taking a few moments to explore the shops or enjoying a treat. Riding motorcycles is about making friends and new experiences. I found some new friends at Harley's Pub. The Dollar Bill Accented Bar makes a biker feel right at home. Idaho City is an old mine town. During the middle part of the 1800s, it was one of the largest cities in the Northwest with a population of over 7,000 people. Like all boom towns though, when the gold dried up, so did the town. Today there's just around a population of 500. The locals are super friendly though and ready to welcome the motorcyclists up from the city.
The Sawtooth Mountains surrounding the area offer 57 peaks that are 10,000 feet or taller. There are plenty of roads out there to explore in this area. The south fork of the Payette River will guide us home. Flowing from the Sawtooth Mountains, this ice-cold river will eventually meet up with the north fork of the Payette in Banks. We're here at Loman, the halfway point of our ride. We could continue into the mountains to Stanley, home of Redfish Lake, a beautiful area. We're going to head on though to Garden Valley and then Banks to finish our loop back home. If you do decide to go to Stanley, you need to allot for another couple hours making this normal three to four hour trip about a five to six hour ride. It's well worth it if you've got all day. The Payette River is world famous for its whitewater rafting. The North Fork offers class five rapids, some of the most challenging in North America. It's not uncommon to see rafts and kayakers going down the river. From Garden Valley all the way to the tip of Boise, you can enjoy the river at your side. As we head out of Horseshoe Bend, a final glimpse of the Great Days Ride is offered to us. For Rallies and Rides, I'm Eric Guype.